And so here we are, I'm in Sardinia, and this is a dry lake, actually it is a salt lake. This on the ground is all salt, and here is, there's always wind, and the project of today will move with the wind. It's something that I have in my mind since 15 years now, and I have all the parts I need. I need to cut them and weld them together, so let's go and let's start to make it. So we are going to make a motorbike kite buggy. It will use the power of the wind to move very fast. So this part I'm going to modify will be the front fork of, the, of this motorbike. This came from a kid's bike, but it's too small. I want to make it larger because the wheel I'm going to install is much thicker. And after cleaning up the part, I need to find something else. This was the base from a lounge chair. It's made in stainless steel. I can cut this part thick enough so that I can place this huge wheel in the middle. So I cut both pieces at 15 centimeters and I can place them on top of the front fork of the bicycle and weld them together. To do this I just received this beautiful welding machine. It's a Telwin welding machine and it's my very first time I'm using this kind of welding. I mean I don't really know how to uh, place the torch so it's always in front of my eyes and I cannot really see what I'm doing so I'm welding like blind I don't see that's the reason why this first welding welds are terrible I know I will fix this and I'm going to weld also these two triangular shaped pieces on the bottom part of the fork inside these big holes a huge pin will hold the wheel in place and I weld both parts on both sides and this is how it looks like. Now I just have to continue the project and weld also the frame structure that will be, will be made with stainless steel. It's crucial to use very good material because this will hold all my weight and I'm pretty heavy so everything has to be very sturdy. I can weld it here. I was telling you I was having a bit of troubles with this welding machine. I mean, the welding machine is great, it's a synergic machine, which means inside there's a computer and you just have to say with the menu which kind of material and the thickness and is already registered inside all the parameters the machine really need to have a good weld. But my problem is that I don't really see what I'm doing. The other day I met a very good person that want to teach me how to weld, so I want to take this opportunity, give me 15 minutes and I come back. So after 48 hours, these were my first welds. These are pretty ugly, I mean are really, really ugly. I can do better, I just need to practice and have the right suggestion of the man I told you and this is the result. Wow, I mean, just another thing. Very nice weld, considering that I have this machine from only 48 hours, pretty nice. And more I weld, the more I get better to it. Main project is to recycle and save many parts from the junkyard as possible. So I'm sure I can give you inspiration for building yourself a buggy like this one. So I have only one week because later the rain season will start. So I want to use it in a dry lake and it's crucial to have it all dry. So the, the structure frame is pretty solid. I love how it came. I put also reinforcement everywhere and two long pieces are the foot pedal can go on the bottom part of the fork. Here I can place my feet and use them to control the steering. So the front part is all made. The structure is pretty lightweight. And now let's think of the back of the structure. I, I don't know if you remember a couple months ago, I received as a gift this huge engine block from a motorbike and on the back there's also all the stainless steel structure if i imagine this structure backwards and upside down i can use it as the structure for this kite buggy there's only a problem i don't know if the very thick wheel will fit inside and I will say yes, there's only two pieces I need to cut are these two band pieces so I don't really need them, I can cut them away and now let's prepare also the pieces that we hold the pin of the tire on the back so I can use a drill with a special drill bit to drill 20 millimeter wide holes inside and these are the result I can place them inside and weld them on the back of the frame so this is the general shape I want to give to my bike buggy 
So uh, after checking that all the parts are aligned, I can weld the parts. And I was so lucky that this stainless steel tube fits perfectly so that touch all the round pipes and is was very easy to weld them in place. The frame itself is very lightweight, the tires are more heavier, are heavier than the frame itself. I need to put a cushion that came from a kitchen chair here and I was so lucky that I have also the same band. I also put some arm armrests that I took apart from a barber shop chair and I can weld them here on the side. The distance between this armchair uh, place are, is crucial because I want to use them with my body weight to control how to bend the motorbike itself. I also put a back seat here so that I'm much more comfortable and this generally is how it looks like. Pretty nice. Wow, it came so smooth. Usually when you weld these parts, the ball bearings get stuck. In this case, you can see it's so fluid. It continues to move. There's a, there's a huge problem with this uh, setup. I mean, the foot bars that I can use to control the steering with my feet are too long. And this is a big problem because I'm not building a kite buggy, but I'm building a bike buggy, which means that I, I, it will bend and these are too long, they will touch the ground and get stuck or twist the, the steering very, very strong. So I don't want to do this. I want to solve the problem. And the solution is to cut it shorter or to bend them upwards. So you can see from this other YouTuber that once it's when, it, when it's turning, uh, you have almost a 45 degree uh, curvature. And so it, it almost touched the ground. I don't want to do this. So I, I cut it and bend it. So we are going to use this bike buggy into a dry lake that is a salt lake. So salt powder will cover all the frame after. So I want to protect all the metal because you for sure know that salt will accelerate and make the rust process go faster. I want to protect all the metal parts and all the weld I made so that this green paint is great for this. Now I was also thinking about the seat is too thick. We'll make the gravity point too high. I want to make it lower so I will make myself a custom seat made with this foam. So the first thing is to stitch some nylon strips to the to the bike frame and then put the foam cover with some blue leather. This I took it apart from an old sofa and I mean it's pretty nice. I also made a very comfortable cushion here on the back and cover the armrest with some rubber so that I can have much more grip into them and control the band of the bike. Couple hours by car and I'm into the spot, let's see how it goes. Okay, I have a reservation here in a hotel for only four days and the first day the wind unfortunately is too strong and I'm a bit scared I don't want to go too fast with this bike because I'm sure I will fall I don't want to hurt myself so today I will use a simple buggy with three wheels and these are the first clips let's see how fast can I go today So the second day it came and the wind conditions are perfect. We have nine knots. I'm going to choose a very small kite. I'm talking about the three meters. And I can stand and sit on the bike and try to start. In this case, it's quite tricky. Uh, I was pretty sad and angry because I couldn't go. I mean, it was almost impossible. Even to make five meters, was I was crashing every time on the ground. I don't know what, what was happening. My brain doesn't connect uh, very rapidly with the, my feet. I mean, I can go on the bicycle, but the bicycle I use it my, with my hands. In this case, I have to control the steering with my feet and it's quite tricky. 
So the third day, the great conditions are again. So we have nine or ten knots, and this time I want to use a bigger kite. I'm talking about a six meters, and I want to show also all my friends that came into the dry lake how my progress are going. So um, I mean today we have a little bit no we have a great progress i mean i can go out but i cannot come back i don't know what's going on i can only go on one side but i cannot go back from the point where i started i mean i cannot even make five meters on the way back i am always falling down i don't know i'm probably sure is something with my brain doesn't really understand how to move the feet and to move the car i don't know it's something new for me so but i'm quite pretty happy i mean isn't bad i can go straight like 50 or 100 meters without falling and uh, yeah that's that's amazing yeah <laughs> fourth and last day of my uh, progress here in the dry lake today the conditions are perfect we have again nine or ten knots but today i want to do something crazy i'm going to pump and use the bigger kite i have is a 10 meter kite and i thought during the night that maybe i can use the power of the kite to balance my weight on the bike because if I have a much powerful kite, then I can use the power of it for pushing me back up. I mean, uh, if I'm falling on the side, I can pull me up from with the kite and helps me to stay in line. My brain starts to connect and I, I already know how to correct every time I'm, I'm feeling that I'm falling my brain do the, the right job i don't I, it's something automatic i mean if i'm falling on the right i, I will move the pedal on the right you, you know it's just like in the bike but it's much more complicated because you have to do it with your feet and you have to control also the kite is you have to think about many things so having the foot the feet do it automatically it's great and today we have a huge progress i mean yeah, I, it's perfect today. I can go out and I can go back. Uh, consider that the direction of the buggy are the same as the sable, so you can go out and go back in the exact starting point without losing uh, street. So, yeah, I mean, this is what I really need for having fun in this dry lake. So, these are some clips for you.
Well, as you can see, everything works. There are two main problems with this project, but I couldn't understand them before building it. So the first thing that I have to change is the height of the chair. I want to put it lower so that I can have uh, a lower gravity and have much more, I, I can be more stable. The other thing I have to absolutely change is the shape of the tires. I mean, uh, are, these square wheels are great if you are going straight or if you stand still, but is are terrible if you want to uh, bend to, to, cur to curve. So I need to change them and put some round tires. This will help a lot uh, with balancing and moving the, the bike. Uh, that's a pity because it looks nice. I mean, it has a nice design, but these parts I have to change. So this is the first part of this project. It will, I, I will show you the, the future project next summer with all the modifications. So I hope you enjoy it. If you want, you can leave a thumbs up. And at this point, I leave you to my two previous project. There's also another cut buggy, which was quite interesting. Also with, made with recycled parts. It was made with a shopping cart. So check them out. See you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.